Variety has learned that a reality show that was in its early stages of development and followed the Combs family has been cancelled by Hulu. The news comes after Combs was the subject of numerous lawsuits alleging sexual assault. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. The main suit against Combs was recorded on November 16 by Cassandra Ventura otherwise known as Cassie, Combs' previous long-lasting accomplice, who claimed that searches through had assaulted and beat her a time of 10 years. Even though Combs' lawyer said that he didn't do anything wrong, the two of them settled the lawsuit the next day. Joy Dickerson Neal filed a lawsuit less than a week later, claiming that Combs, drugged, sexually assaulted, and abused her and that the rapper had produced and distributed revenge porn against her. A third claim came from a Jane Doe who guarantees that Brushes and R&B vocalist Aaron Lobby alternated assaulting her and her companions at Corridor's Loft at some point somewhere in the range of 1990 and 1991. Another Jane Doe then came forward, claiming that she was raped when she was 17 by Combs, Bad Boy Entertainment president Harve Pierre, and a third man. Combs wrote on Instagram on December 6, the day the fourth lawsuit was filed, enough is enough. For the most recent few weeks, I have sat quietly and watched individuals attempt to kill my personality, obliterate my standing and my heritage. People looking for a quick payday have made shocking allegations against me. Let me get this straight. None of the awful things that are said about me happen to me. I will fight for the truth, my family, and my name. According to a report from Variety, the show was being produced by James Corden's production company Fullwell 73 and had the working title, Diddy Plus 7, which was a reference to his seven children. NBC News has connected with Fullwell 73 for input. Numerous sexual assault cases have been filed against the rapper and music producer. His previous sweetheart, Cassie, whose legitimate name is Cassandra Ventura, sued last month in government court, claiming that he assaulted and thumped her during their relationship. A day after it was filed, the case was settled. The settlement, according to Combs's attorney Ben Braffman, was, in no way an admission of wrongdoing. The makers' organizations have likewise been named in a claim documented last month that denounces Harve Pierre, a previous long-term leader of Brush's record mark, of physically bugging and attacking a right hand. Pierre, who was likewise named as a litigant in Jane Doe's claim, denied the charges. Diddy addressed the allegations in a statement that he posted to Instagram last week. The mother of the six-year-old boy who shot a Virginia teacher admits child neglect. That's it, he wrote in all capital letters, I have sat silently for the last couple of weeks as I watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation, and my legacy. He went on to say, sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals seeking a quick payday. Allow me to be totally clear, none of the awful things that are said about me happen to me. I will fight for the truth, my family, and my name. 